DIY designer. I'm Orly Shani, your host on this DIY adventure that we're on. Today is a really good one. Today's an episode that I'm very, very excited about, and that's because I have no idea if it's gonna work. Yeah. I have no clue if it's gonna work. Um, I think it should. There's no reason why it shouldn't, but I've never done anything like this, so we'll see. I was perusing the uh, Instagrammers, and I came across a photo of Khloe Kardashian in this pretty darn cool corset top. I saw it, and I'm like, that just looks kind of like a jean jacket cut off and turned into a corset top. It's really cool, it's really sexy. I looked it up afterwards. Turns out that it is Alexander Wang and it is almost $400. It's cute, but not for $400. So I thought to myself, self, could I DIY this? And I think that I can. So I went shopping, I ended up hitting up Forever 21 because they have a kids section and I got myself a wash that looked similar to hers that's small. So this is like, I think a 12, 13 or something like that. And obviously there's a million different versions out there. There's even some versions that I'm seeing like this one, which are just hideous. Like that's just not even cute. Don't wear that guys. Don't wear that. Okay. But that's it. I'm really excited. Let's just get right to it. Cause I want to show you guys how to make this one. things first we are going to cut all along the seam of our sleeve so what you want to do is make a tiny little cut that gives us access into the sleeve and now run your fabric scissors as close to the very edge as possible this is going to function as our underarm seam so you want to make sure it's really clean once you get to the yoke on the front and the back you're going to make a sharp left turn and cut all the way across this is going to be the top we are not going to sew this or hem this in any way so cut as close to the edge as possible once you reach the other side go under the arm and now it's time to cut the front Again, this is going to be the very top. We're not going to hem it. So just get as close to that stitching detail as you can and cut as uh, you know evenly as you obviously can. Trim it up if need be. <laughs> Done with the DIY, guys. I hope that you liked it. If you did, hit the subscribe button and comment. This right here is it. So what I'm going to do is put it on. It's probably going to need to be made much smaller. So you can see where the area of bagginess is. There's a couple things that we want to do here. You're going to want to close up these pockets because you don't want to create any puckering in this general vicinity. That's not cute. So we're going to sew that down. So put it on inside out. Make sure that you're wearing either nothing underneath or something really thin because the sweater I had on was bulky and it would actually adjust the shape. So what I'm going to do is very carefully pin the center to the center of my shirt so that it doesn't move on me. So it's now pinned, it's in place. Now, there is a side seam here. I'm just gonna take all of the uh, excess fabric from the side seam. Sometimes you could take a little bit from each, but because we have pockets on the top and the bottom, it would be almost impossible. So this is fully clean. You see that side seam? It's, there's nothing obstructing it. So what we wanna do is pin out the excess. and try to not pin your shirt with it. You're not gonna wanna go as tight right here. Go tight on the top part of your waist and then not so tight so that it creates more of an hourglass shape. It's gonna be uh, much more flattering and much more forgiving. And also much more comfortable after lunch. Pinned it to myself. Remember, remember like a minute ago I said, hey, like don't pin it to yourself. Here's our jacket. You can see everything is pinned now. And I decided to go in with a crayon just to give myself kind of a nice clean line, which makes it easier when I'm sewing. So here we go. I'm taking all the excess out. Everything to the right of my needle is going to be cut off and removed. You can see I took about an inch off at the bust. I went into approximately two to three inches at my waist and then back out to zero. Now I'm just stitching close those pockets. Again, that's to ensure that everything lays nice and flat around my waist. Pretty close. The tighter we make it, the more coarsity it feels, this is gonna wanna open because obviously it's not meant to be that tight. So we either stitch this down, which means we have to add a zipper because how else do you get into it if not through the front? Or this becomes something where you just put double stick tape if it's strong enough. 
So I am gonna put a zipper in. So what I did is I cut open the side and put a zipper in. I'm not showing a very in-depth tutorial on this because this is a bigger tutorial for another day. But I basically put in an exposed zipper on my side seam. Now I'm closing up the front, but I am leaving that little top open. I feel like it could be really cute when it's pulled tight to have almost like a little V-neck that opens up at the top. So I am pinning down everything from the button down and it's really important that you change out your thread so that it matches the thread on your jacket. Because as you can see, I'm going over the existing stitch down the button placket and it's basically gonna disappear. You're never gonna even see that it's there. Because I only did the interior stitch, the front was kind of flapping open, so I just used a little bit of fabric glue to make sure that that wouldn't open on me, but it is fully sewn down. Now the back yoke is always taller than the front, so you can see I had about three inches of excess. I cut this off and it's gonna look great because once it's washed, it's just gonna be a frayed edge and it'll be really cute. I'm gonna try it on. Is my lipstick all screwed up? Because it feels like it's caking off, you guys. It's the problem with wearing dark lipstick. I don't even care, because what if this thing doesn't even work? I'm gonna go try it on. So I feel like the verdict on this one is kind of half-half. It totally works, but now that I've done it once, I am so tempted to go to the mall, go buy one more jacket and do it all over again because I learned of all the little changes I could have possibly made. The first one is I would recommend putting that zipper in the back, then allows you to continue to adjust your side seams as necessary. I would love to make mine just a little bit tighter. Well, I hope you liked it. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know your comments below. I'm so curious. Ah, what do you think? What do you think? Um, I love you guys. I'll see you next week. Bye.